Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is absolutely incredible. Did you know it took 410 days to build the Empire State Building? How about the Eiffel Tower at 735 days? How about the Golden Gate Bridge, 1,460 days? Why am I telling you all this? Well, I've been vlogging for 1,500 days. I mean, that means I could almost have built three world's wonders in the same amount of time that it's taken me to film this vlog. That's pretty crazy in my eyes, but you know, when the vlog first started, I'm not gonna lie to you, it was just an experiment to see if I could do it. So guys, welcome to the vlog channel. You know, I've been thinking about doing vlogs for probably the last year or two, to be honest with you, because, you know, for you guys that watch me on snake bites and other animal bites type, type stuff, and even Discovery Channel, um, you know, sometimes you don't see all the other things I've got going on. Guys, I am so stoked right now. I actually have some snakes here that just came in that I've been meaning to work with for probably 12 or maybe even 15 years. Little tiny mangrove snakes. That's right, these are a boega. And I've always loved the mangrove snakes. These are ones that when they get older, they're jet black and yellow. I mean, just gorgeous snakes. And this happened today. I am just so stoked about this. I uh, I came in and I uh, opened up the cage and guess what I saw? That's right, little tiny baby skinks. Look at that, how cool is that? Now these are northern blue tongue skinks and this particular uh, group was bred to a female sunrise, bred to a male sunrise and a male sunset. So I really don't know, <laughs> you see it open its, uh, its big mouth and look at that tongue, how cool is that? Of course, that's why they call them blue tongue skinks. This is my office, you can see some of my uh, signed stuff on the walls from Corn and Josh Gates and Ghost Hunter and Jack Hunt, Hannah and my friend Carrie King from Slayer. That's So it's basically my favorite time of the day uh, after everyone's kind of left and I'm here alone by myself just with all my animals and I usually spend you know an hour to three hours a night here alone after everyone takes off. Let's see what she's got. Oh, you can see she's coiled around egg, and you can see she's got one egg out right here. Look at that clutch of eggs. Oh, that's a beautiful clutch. And again, this is a spinner bred to a leopard spinner. Actually, it's a leopard lesser spinner. This happens to be an albino Darwin's carpet python, and they're just really amazing. So guys, I've been here for a, a long time. It's about 8.30 at night on a Friday night. So uh, I'm gonna get out of here and head home and maybe hang out with Lori a little bit and my son Noah. I wanted to let you guys know first off, obviously my building is about, it's about 10 miles away from my house. So every day I've got about a 20 minute drive home. Um, but it's all right, you know, I don't mind it. Uh, in a way, I used to keep all my stuff at my house and uh, it's nice to have a little bit of a separation to be honest with you, you know, that way you go home and the animals are not there. Cause I mean, I would wake up at two, three in the morning and then go out to my outbuilding or into my basement and, and uh, just look at animals all night. So. So guys, it's finally here. A little bit of time to relax and kind of hang out with Lori here. So, uh, Lori, what do you think? Good idea to vlog our life? <coughs> Roar! Roar! Huh? Maybe. <laughs> hey, little buddy. What's going on? You know, when I first started vlogging, I really didn't know where things were going to go. And the reason I kind of started it was because so many people that came to visit me that were YouTubers were like, Brian, your life is crazy. You should daily vlog. But I was still doing Animal Bites as my main channel every single week. And the vlog was just kind of something for fun. Didn't think it was going to really set in, to be totally honest with you. Until I made a trip out to Nerd, my buddy Kevin McCurley's place. And that weekend, I finally started feeling like a vlogger. We're gearing up to head out to New Hampshire. We're going to go visit Jason Miller uh, from Five Word Animal Facts. We're also going to go see Kevin McCurley, the evil morph god at Nerd. <laughs> You learn a lot about people when you travel, so uh, obviously we got these folks in the back there. 
Dan, Sarah. But uh, one of the things I've really been impressed with is the fact that Nico happens to have one hell of an Australian accent. <laughs> so we're gonna let him uh, show and dazzle you guys with a couple cool Pressure's things. On now. Go ahead, Australia, mate. We're at Nerd right now, so let's just check this place out. It's kind of a menagerie of like rooms with cool animals in it. I get so excited. Look at that. Woo! Little albino water monitor. Well, it's not such a little albino water monitor. Big old sn alligator snapping turtle. And then uh, I saw this the other day. This is, take a look at this. It's like a crazy menagerie of lizards. There's like collared lizards, horned lizards, uh, all kinds of different things in here. It's actually, some dwarf caiman. Look at this over here. We got, hey! <laughs> of course, we got Jason over here. Five word animal facts and, and all the other boys getting ready That's and sure Sarah. Right. And, <laughs> Take a look at this. This happens to be uh, a golden child platinum phantom and of course Miss Piggy in the back there. Look at that. I put my head in a cage with a couple of retics. Alright guys, literally my favorite reticulated python is right here right now. So man, I tell you what, uh, so far we've messed with cow retics, uh, golden child retics, but uh, how many of you guys out there have held a moo retic today. <laughs> What's going on? How are oh you? It's gosh. so good to meet you. How are you? I'm good. My gosh, it's so awesome to meet you. I'm so, thank you for coming to hang out. Thank you. It's awesome. How are you? I'm good. Oh, it's so good. That's good stuff. So, so what's going on? I don't know. really cool but take a look at this right here my buddy here you go buddy <laughs> hey Lucy what's going on girl you having an okay day and I'm not gonna lie to you when we first started vlogging uh, it didn't really get that much traction even after that nerd trip uh, we were still getting you know maybe 10,000 views or something like that which don't get me wrong was cool but it wasn't like it was exploding and then one day this girl actually escaped all right, so guys, uh, people ask all the time, do snakes ever get out? And the answer is it, it, it doesn't happen very often, but every now and then it does. And I gotta be honest with you, it's extremely rare for anything large to get out because we really take a lot of uh, you know, pride in the fact that we want our large snakes to stay inside. With that said, I'm gonna share something with you guys. I, I almost, what, whatever, I'm gonna share it with you guys. So Lucy, uh, yesterday we uh, kind of cleaned her cage the best because she was in a really bad mood and unfortunately this happened <laughs> looks like maybe we didn't shut the cage all the way but uh she was pretty easy to find hello <sighs> now the question is how the heck do we get her from up here to back over there <laughs> And right here is where that crazy monkey Lucy actually was when I shot that video. And it was actually the day before Thanksgiving. I'll never forget it. And that video went viral. I mean, it popped. It went to a million views within 24 or 36 hours. And uh, I tell you, it, it energized me. I was like, oh my gosh, maybe this vlog thing can actually work out. So I was energized. I couldn't wait to come in on Thanksgiving and do another vlog, which was pretty awesome. And then the next day, actually Lucy laid a clutch of eggs. Take a look at this, guys. Totally surprised the hell out of me. Look at this. Lucy's got a bunch of eggs in here. Look at how big these eggs are right here. I mean, that is a monster egg. Get down, get down, get down. Ah! Okay, 
That's enough. I'm not sure the best thing to do is here, to be honest with you. Well, do you want me to grab a, a bin? Yeah, you want to grab a bin real quick? Yeah. She's in good shape and she should probably start eating again shortly. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Come on, stay over there. Stay over there, Lucy. Okay. <laughs> All right, so that wasn't bad, you know? She acted okay, and I can get the rest of her eggs out now. And you can see there's a lot of bad and fur legs in here. And that video went viral too, getting over a million views the first day. We picked up 250,000 subs in like seven to 10 days. It was crazy. And that's when I really thought, maybe I really need to switch my focus to really putting most of my energy when it came to the film side of the house into daily vlogging. And uh, I'll be honest with you, I didn't know how long it was gonna go, but uh, I was definitely pretty excited about it. The first 500 or so vlogs, there was no rep tarim, it was just BHP. So really, the vlog gave me the opportunity to do the rep tarium, and it really gave us an opportunity to showcase animals on a different level, talk about behavior, uh, just getting relationships with them. But the truth is, is that if it wasn't for the vlog, I don't know that I would have been able to do the Reptarium. So it's interesting. I run several different businesses and they're all kind of symbiotic, meaning they all feed on each other, right? BHB runs because of the snakes, which helps the vlog. The vlog helps the Reptarium become popular, which means that I could expand the Reptarium more and on and on and on. Every one of my businesses kind of intertwined, but the real fuel that runs everything is the actual vlog. So the fact that you guys support me and the vlog really Really means you're supporting me on everything and giving me the opportunity to follow my dreams and make them into reality. A lot of you guys may know that I've said that every January 1st I make the decision if I'm going to continue to daily vlog for the entire year. And I'm not going to lie to you, in 2020 I was really considering going from daily to maybe three to five times a week and ultimately I decided to go one more year doing seven days a week and I tell you what guys you know that I've struggled with some things. If I didn't have that consistency of the daily vlog this year in 2020, I would have probably been in big trouble. That was the one constant in my life. Even when I was struggling with anxiety, I was able to know that I had to come in and vlog. It gave me a sense of purpose. It gave me a sense to be able to tell people what was going on and share. And it was really therapeutic to me to share that story. And I appreciate that you guys do it. Now, if you're gonna ask me what I'm gonna do in 2021, right now, I would say I'm definitely sticking with daily vlogging because I'm really more energized than ever on it. But again, I will make that decision on January 1st, but I'm pretty sure you guys are gonna get at least one more year of 365 days of Brian Barczyk for sure. But now 2022, we'll have to wait to see what happens. Over the last 1500 days, this has become such a part of my life. Your comments each and every morning is how I start my day. You know, you guys are so important to me and I literally literally start every morning going through comments, going back and forth with you guys, and it is amazing. I mean, your support, not only watching the vlog and commenting and following all the other stuff, but also buying merch from us, which by the way, uh, a little selfless plug, salt and pepper merch. You can get different colors. You can also get uh, hoodies. You can get cups. You can get stickers. Link in the description. But, you know, stuff like that is amazing. I mean, the fact that you guys will support me on so much is uh, it's so inspiring to me. And it did help me get out of bed on a lot of those mornings when I literally didn't know if I could even survive the day. So uh, I can't imagine life without this vlog. And like I mentioned, I appreciate each and every one of you guys. You know, I know some of you have been with me from the very first vlog. You've literally spent the last 1,500 days being a part of my life, and I can't thank you enough for that for sure. But I also appreciate the people that are watching me for the very first time right now and kind of starting to start this journey with me because the fact is is that you guys are a big part of everything that is going on, and I want you to feel like you are a part of the journey because to me, you really are. So for those of you that have been with me since the beginning, thank you. For those of you that have just found me, I hope you'll stick around for the next 1,500 days. If you guys think the last 1,500 days was incredible, trust me, I cannot wait to share with you what we have in store for you in the next 1,500, because trust me, we are just getting started.